So fishing swim baits is definitely one of the most requested video topics on my channel and I know many other fishing YouTubers all around the country and around the world, especially here in America for big bass. You guys love to see us catch fish on any type of swim bait and of course a lot of you guys when you ask about swim baits are referring to, you know, the big glide baits, your mega bass ice slides, your Roman made mothers, your Piz customs, all those sorts of huge swim baits and I have made a few videos about that. But today's video, I'm gonna talk about the swim bait that I believe is the most versatile across the board for catching bass, not only here in the springtime in Florida, but up in the north of Minnesota, New York, the Texas summertime weather, really any time of the year, any place you are in the country, and I guess out of the country if you have bass in other countries, and that is the paddle tail soft plastic swim bait. Let's talk about it. So the paddle tail swim bait is definitely one of the most versatile fishing lures I have found on the planet. Uh, if I had to pick one lure to fish the rest of my life, it would not be a swim bait, but it would be an awful close second. And so in today's video, I'm gonna make this short and sweet. I'm gonna have an awesome fish catch at the end of this video, so make sure you guys stick around. Here's a little preview of the giant bass I caught. Got him, got him, got him, got him, yes, 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 yes. So if you want to stick around and see that, it will be at the end of this video. And yes, I did catch it on a soft plastic swim bait like this. And so I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. I'm going to talk about my top five ways and maybe a few others that I'll throw in. I like to kind of go on rabbit trails in these videos of how to rig and use a soft plastic swim bait. You know, I've talked about this in a few of my other videos, kind of as a, a side topic. You know, maybe I use this as a trailer and I discuss that in my reaction baits videos or something like that. But I really wanted to, to sit down and just explain the, the many uses for this bait right here. So if you guys are new here, my name is Tyler. I love to teach you guys how to become better bass anglers. I hope that my, my uh, videos are instructional and fun and I've definitely uh, started to step up my production quality as well to give you guys the best video possible. So let's jump into it. So first we're gonna talk about what the soft plastic swim bait imitates. You guys know that I love to talk about the science of fishing and what those fish are feeding on because you always wanna throw the closest match you can to what the fish are feeding on. And so the reason why a soft plastic swim bait like this works so well is because the fish in, in most lakes, ponds, and rivers, sorry, I'm on a hill today, across the country have some kind of bait fish, shad, minnows. And this, of course, it comes many sizes as I, as I will talk about, uh, imitates you know, depending on the size you get, whatever forage you have in your bait system. And they also come in both shad colors, and really you can get these things hand poured, I'm sure by people in whatever color you want. So these things can match, in my opinion, everything besides uh, crawfish and frogs. I think these uh, don't exactly mimic those two things, but any sort of bluegill, uh, any sort of bait fish, any sort of tilapia, these things have, uh, these things do an excellent job of mimicking those types of bait fish. And so I'm gonna talk about the three uh, sizes I use most often. I rarely go above or below these unless I'm going for micro bass or uh, mega bass, <laughs> that's for sure. But for the majority of the year, I'm gonna throw it in three separate sizes. This here is the Strike King Rage Swimmer. Uh, it's my favorite, you get the most in a pack for the price that I found and uh, extremely durable. I catch you know five or six fish on each one depending on how you rig it and uh, they're just awesome baits, a lot of action. So the three sizes that I use most often are the 2.75 inch, the 3.75 inch, and you guessed it, the 4.75 inch. These three I think cover all uh, the, the bases in terms of forage you're trying to imitate and definitely uh, have a different plays across the country. You know, if I'm throwing an Alabama rig, I'm gonna focus mostly on the 2.75 inch or the 3.75 inch. Uh, if I'm throwing an underspin, I'll throw it on the 4.75 inch. I'll talk about all this throughout this video. Don't wanna get ahead of myself. So starting at the bottom of the spectrum with the 2.75 inch, I mostly throw these Rage Swimmers in, what's the color? Ghost Shad, it's just a nice clear shad i think this one's ghost shad as well yep ghost shad and then i do have one that is sexy shad but like i said ghost shad sexy shad and watermelon red are really the three colors that i throw uh, most often but the first thing that i'm going to talk about is the 2.75 and the two uses that i use that for most often the first of those being a tiny little swim bait this here, of course, is not going to apply in situations where you have a ton of cover uh, that you can get your bait stuck on. It's not going to apply where you have a lot of grass because it's going to be hard to keep this bait out of the grass. But I found this little swim bait right here, especially for smallmouth bass uh, in creeks and rivers and spotted bass, is absolutely killer. A, small, a spotted bass, when you drop this thing straight down on them on your electronics or you, know, you flip it up next to a dock and let it sink down, there's probably a suspended bass under there that wants to eat this little swim bait. 
So I have it on an Outcast Tackle. I believe it's a one aught. Let me check. It is a one aught, one eighth ounce gold eye swimmer head. This is Outcast Tackle. You guys know that I use them for jigs and for jig heads as well. And I love their swim bait head. Josh Douglas, the guy who's on this package, did an excellent job of designing this jig head. Uh, and it fits this size bait really well. You know, I want to have a little bit of weight to be able to cast this, but not too much weight. But I also want to have just the right hook size. Because one thing that I'll, you know, I see a lot of people doing is that they put a jig head on their, their, uh, their rage swimmer, which is great, awesome way to catch them. But oftentimes I see people using, I'd say on the spectrum more often of a, a too big of a jig head and too small of a jig head. And so you wanna have one, in my opinion, where the hook pokes out, hopefully you can see that right there, where the hook pokes out right as the bait starts to slender down. So we have a fat portion here, it's starting to slender down, and so I wanna poke the hook out right there, regardless of what size you're using. So if I'm throwing the 3.75, I'm going to grab this one here, the three yacht quarter ounce. A little bit heavier weight, of course, gonna throw it on a bait caster instead of a spinning rod, but if I were to line this gold eye swimmer up with a 375, let me get it out real quick. You're gonna see that the hook pokes out right as the bait starts to slender down. I hope that's in focus. Maybe it's not, we'll see. We'll see in post. That right there is kind of the, the combo that I like to throw. I will have uh, all my jig head sizes at outcasttackle.com. I'll also have a discount code, I believe it's 15 or 20% off now, it could be 20% off. So the code is down below. If you guys can shop for my sponsors, I would greatly appreciate that. It helps them know that I'm doing a good job here on YouTube when you guys use my code. So I will have uh, the three sizes of uh, Rage Swimmers linked right next to the correct size that I like to throw of the swim bait head. And so when I'm talking about the 2.75, it's usually on this type of rig right here. And the second of which is, uh, I don't have it with me, is a small swim jig. When those fish are, especially a shad spawn deal and they're feeding up shallow and uh, they are annihilating bait fish up shallow in, in bushes and such, I throw a little outcast tackle swim jig, a heavy cover swim jig with this as the trailer. Now when I'm throwing a green pumpkin or a black and blue swim jig, I will usually throw more of a chunk, like a, a Strike King Rage Craw or something like that as the trailer. But for the shad presentation, it's almost always the 2.75. Now the 3.75 is an interesting size because it can really be used for all sorts of applications. Uh, and I'll also have the rod and reel combos that I throw these on linked with the size as well. Always down there in the, in the description below. So the 3.75 is definitely uh, an all-purpose size. You can throw this thing on an underspin, you can throw it on a flashy swimmer, or you can throw it, like I mentioned, on the, uh, the bigger size of the Golden Eye swimmer head. But the biggest thing that I love to do with this 3.75 is, let me get it, here we go, oh, you guys guessed it, the trailer to a Thunder Cricket. That right there is a bass catching machine. I love throwing this thing out there, and uh, it just adds so much action to the already vibrating Thunder Cricket. Thunder Chicken. And I did talk about that in a little bit more detail, so I'm gonna kinda stop talking about the 3.75, but I talked about it in my top three, uh, I think, pre-spawn reaction baits. I'll have it linked below and also up in this corner. Uh, so I think that's three, uh, oh, Alabama rig. So yes, I love to throw an Alabama rig. I think it's an incredible way to catch fish, especially when you're fishing offshore. And what I mean by that is deeper than six feet. It's hard to cast an A-rig in any sort of cover or grass shallower than that. But if you have fish feeding on bait fish and you are allowed to in your tournament or just out fun fishing, throw five of these suckers. Or if you're fishing for more pressured fish, I often go with the 2.75 on an Alabama rig definitely is a little expensive rig with all the swim bait heads and everything rigged up but it's awesome uh, and it's one of my favorite bass catchers and if I can get home in time for the A-Rig bite to still be on I will make an A-Rig instructional so hold me to that and so the last way that I love to rig the 4.75 and it's really the only way that I rig this is on a flashy swimmer you know I think I have the hook over here in my terminal box but my favorite way to rig it is with where's it at here we go perfect I will have this hooked linked below as well, but it is just an amazing way, as I mentioned in reaction bait video, to, uh, to catch big fish. You know, you just take your 475, you screw it into, you know, and many brands make it now, but it's called the flashy swimmer hook. And that right there is just a bass catching washing machine. And because it has a little blade on the bottom, it adds a little bit of extra flash in this here. All, all times of the year. I'm talking about pre-spawn, post-spawn, summer, fall, this thing is a fish catcher. So that's kind of my main ways that I like to throw it. But one way that I'm gonna talk about and what you're gonna see here at the end of this video, I like to do is just throw it on a Texas rig. You know, I have it rigged up today 
Let me grab this rod. It's all kind of juicy from the fish that I just caught. But I'll just rig it up on a Texas rig. This here is a four aught Texas rig wide gap hook. Of course, the wider gap is needed because you kind of have a thick bait that you have to stick the hook through. But like I said, just like on the swim bait heads, Texas rig hook, I want it to poke in and poke out right where the bait starts to slender on down. And I have it on a little eighth ounce weight and I've been pitching this thing on beds to catch fish today. So you guys will see me catch two fish here at the end of the video. And I just think it's a great way in this color, especially sexy shad or watermelon red, as fish are protecting their nests to, uh, to trigger a response from that. Definitely less of a, a, a hungry response and way more of an aggressive protective response. And then the last one, I will do a whole video on very, very soon because I'm here in Florida for the next two weeks super excited about catching big bass for you guys and uh, and that is weightless i'm going to chunk this thing around probably the 475 uh, with either a tiny bit of a weighted uh, swim bait hook or just completely weightless to catch those fish that are cruising around shallow grass and pads so that's kind of my my top few ways that i like to rig it hopefully it was short and sweet and you guys learned something go out there try it for yourself uh, it's just a it's awesome Catching fish on swim baits is fun. It is a great way to get a newbie involved in the sport. I would say if you're trying to take somebody to catch a largemouth uh, off your dock or a spotted bass, smallmouth, whatever, give them a little outcast tackle, golden eye, swim bait head, incredibly high quality with the Rage Swimmer 2.75 on a spinning rod and tell them just to cast it, let it sink down to the bottom and retrieve it in. So that is all that I have for you guys. Here is the fish catch you've been waiting for and we'll see you guys in the next episode of TRF. Let's catch ourselves our first bed fish of the year. Am I right or am I right? What I did there is I laid the swim bait on the bed. And you guys can see I'm letting the spool be open while I back off. Can't really see the bed now, but I know my bait's there because it hasn't moved yet. I'm gonna let it sit there for like two minutes and uh, hopefully I give it the old jiggle and that fish is already back, unaware that I'm here and she eats it. That's the plan. All right, got the male. The male is gonna be transplanted over here to this pond because there's plenty of males and that female can find another one. Thank you, buddy. All right, so now that the male's gone, we're gonna give this bed a few minutes because this female might decide, you know what, my man's gone. I gotta defend this nest. All right, so that's the plan. Either she's going to abandon the nest or she's gonna be there. Got him, got her, got her, got her. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go, let's go. Bring her in. I want, she's got me in the grass. She's got me in the grass, she's big. She's big. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. First bad fish of the year on the little, ah, what you call it? Texas rig, rage swimmer, about a five pounder. I will take it, heck yeah. Well, thanks for watching, folks. We'll see y'all next time.